When you allow daily decrees of the Word of God to wash over your mind and heart, you will experience spiritual strengthening. The Word is life-transforming. It is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. The Word of God is eternal in the heavens, and it never returns void, but it accomplishes everything it is sent to do. The following decrees proclaimed in faith, through word and song, will serve to strengthen your spirit man and fortify your faith. Everlasting Love The Lord loves you with an everlasting love and has promised to give you a future and a hope. With loving kindness, He has drawn you unto Himself. Look carefully and intently at the manner of love the Father has poured out upon you. It is through this love that He has called you to be His dear child. You are completely and fully accepted in Him, your God and Savior. Nothing can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus your Lord. Not tribulation, not distress, not persecution, famine, or nakedness. Not peril, sword, angels, principalities, powers, death, nor life, nor things present, nor things to come. No, not at all. Absolutely nothing can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, your Lord. God's love towards you is patient and kind. His love will never fail. His love for you is so rich that He gave His only begotten Son. Because of this, you will never perish, but will have everlasting life with Him. That's right. As a believer in Jesus, you have an unbreakable, eternal covenant with the Lord because of His great love for you. Through this covenant of love, He has put His laws within your heart and has written His commandments upon your mind. You have been invited to the Lord's banqueting table, and His banner over you is love. His love is better than the choicest of wines. Through His intimate love, He draws you and invites you to follow after Him. You are fair and pleasant unto Him. You are rooted and you are grounded in His love and well able to comprehend with all believers what is the width, the length, height, and the depth of His unfailing love. You have been called to know this rich love which surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with the fullness of God. You truly are the object of His deepest love and affection. Victory. You are a child of the living God, an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. You are a new creation in Him, and old things have passed away. All things have become new in your spirit man. You're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, and you're not under any guilt or condemnation. You easily refuse discouragement because it is not of God. God is the God of all encouragement, and He constantly ministers encouragement to you. There is therefore now no condemnation for you because you are in Him. The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Do not listen to Satan's accusations, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Gird up your loins with truth. Sin does not have dominion over you, and you are always fleeing from temptation. If, however, you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father, who is Jesus Christ. Confess your sins and forsake them, and God is faithful and just 
to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. You are an overcomer because of the blood of Jesus and because of the word of your testimony. And no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And you shall confute every tongue that rises up against you in judgment. Your mind is renewed by the word of God. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. Bring every thought captive into obedience to the truth. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, for you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are not the slave of sin, but of righteousness. You will always continue in his word. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Because Christ has set you free, you are free indeed. You have been delivered out of the domain of darkness and are now abiding in the kingdom of God. You are not intimidated by the enemy's lies. No way. He is defeated. And for this purpose, Christ came into the world to destroy the works of the evil one. You submit to God and resist the devil. The enemy flees from you in terror because the Lord lives mightily in you. You give the devil no opportunity. You give no place to fear in your life. God has not given you a spirit of fear, no, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Terror shall not come near you because the Lord is the strength of your life. He always causes you to triumph in Christ Jesus. In Christ, you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand and none shall touch you. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places far above all principalities, powers, and dominions. You have been given power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall injure you. No longer will the enemy oppress you. You defeat him by the authority that Christ has given. You are more than a conqueror through him who loves you. Wisdom Jesus Christ has become your wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Your Heavenly Father has given you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Christ. He pours out His spirit of wisdom upon you, and He makes His words of wisdom known to you. If you ever lack wisdom, you simply ask for it in faith, and it is given to you in generous measure. This is heavenly wisdom that is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, easily entreated, full of mercy and good fruits. It is unwavering and without hypocrisy. This holy wisdom brings forth a wonderful fruit of righteousness. You receive the sayings of wisdom and treasure the commandments of the Lord within your heart. Your ear is attentive to wisdom, and you incline your heart to understanding. You seek for wisdom as for silver, and search for it as for hidden treasures. And when you do this, you discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. Because you embrace wisdom, the Lord is a shield to you and guards your paths with justice and preserves your way. Wisdom enters your heart, and knowledge is pleasant to your soul. Discretion guards you, and understanding watches over you to deliver you from the evil way. Because you love wisdom, wisdom loves you. As a result, riches and honor are with you, enduring wealth and righteousness. Wisdom endows you with wealth and fills your treasuries. 
The profit of wisdom is better than the profit of silver, and its gain than fine gold. Wisdom is more precious than jewels, and nothing you could ever desire compares with it. You will have a long, full, and blessed life because it is in wisdom's right hand. And you will also have the riches and the honor that are in wisdom's left hand. Because you love wisdom, all your paths are peace, and all your ways are pleasant. Wisdom is a tree of life for you, and you are blessed because you hold her fast. If you will prize and embrace wisdom, wisdom will exalt and honor you. Wisdom places a garland of grace on your head and presents you with a crown of beauty. You will inherit honor because of your love for wisdom, and your entire household will be blessed. Listen to wisdom and daily watch at her gates. Eat wisdom's food and drink of the wine that she has mixed. Proceed in the way of understanding, and when you speak, you will speak noble things, and the opening of your mouth will produce right things. Your mouth utters truth. All the utterances of your mouth are in righteousness because you walk in the way of wisdom. You are filled with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus' provision. Seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and all the things you need will be added unto you. All of your needs are met according to God's riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Do not ever fear lack, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Grace and peace are multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus your Lord. His divine power has given you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who has called you to glory and virtue. Blessed be the God and Father of your Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed you with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. The Lord is a sun and a shield to you and will give you grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from you as you walk uprightly. God makes all grace abound toward you so that you will always have enough for everything you need. You will have abundance to pour into every good work that He leads you to sow into. And as you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. The Lord supplies seed for you to sow and bread for your food. He also supplies and multiplies your seed for sowing and increases the fruit of your righteousness. You are enriched in everything unto great abundance, which brings much thanksgiving to your God. Bring the first and the best of all that you have to the Lord. As a result, He will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing for you so great that there will not be room enough to contain it. He rebukes the devourer for your sake so that he does not destroy the fruits of your ground, and neither does your vine cast its grapes before the time. All the nations shall call you blessed, for you shall have a delightful life. You consider the poor and freely give to them with a compassionate heart. Therefore, you will never want. Remember the Lord your God, for it is He that gives you the power to make wealth, so that He may confirm His covenant. Because Jesus Christ, your Savior, diligently listened to the voice of God and obeyed all the commandments, the Lord will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all the blessings of the kingdom shall come upon you and overtake you. Your God will cause you to abound in prosperity and will bless all the works of your hands. He will command the blessing upon you in all that you put your hands to do. You will be blessed coming in and blessed going out. 
Christ became poor so that through his poverty you might become rich. Jesus came so that you would have life in its abundance and like Abraham, all the way to the end of your life, you will be rich in all things and fully satisfied. Christian character. You are the light of the world. You are a city that is set on a hill and you cannot be hid. Your light will so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Grace and peace are multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus your Lord. His divine power has granted unto you everything that pertains to life and to godliness. He has given unto you exceeding great and precious promises. As you live by these promises, you will be a partaker of His divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Besides living by these promises, you walk in diligence, and you add unto your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness. To godliness, you add brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. All these things are in you, and as they abound in you, you shall never be barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of your Lord Jesus. You choose to walk worthy of the Lord in every respect, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. You are an imitator of God as His dear child. You walk in love, but fornication and all impurity and covetousness must not once be named among you neither filthiness, nor coarse jesting, nor foolish talking, which are not fitting. But rather, you give thanks unto the Lord. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but you only speak that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto those who hear. You do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you have been sealed unto the day of redemption. You do not walk in strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind you esteem others as better than yourself. You do not look only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. You make yourself of no reputation, and you take the form of a bondservant. You are one who waits patiently for the Lord and allows integrity and uprightness to preserve you. Jesus is your protector because you walk uprightly. You dwell on those things that are true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, whatever is of good repute, and anything that is excellent and worthy of praise. As a child of God, you are thoroughly furnished for every good work. You always consider how to provoke others to love and good works. You put on a heart of compassion and kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. For you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. You are patient and kind. You are not jealous, you do not brag, and you are not arrogant. You do not act unbecomingly, and you do not seek your own way. You are not easily provoked, and you do not take into account a wrong suffered. You do not rejoice in unrighteousness, but you rejoice with the truth. You bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. You never fail, because you are committed to His love and His ways.
spiritual strength. You are strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. You put on the full armor of God. In Christ, you can do all things because He strengthens you. The Lord is your strength and your shield. Your heart trusts in Him, and you are helped. Therefore your heart exalts, and with your song you shall thank Him. He's your strength and your saving defense. He is your strength in time of struggle. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is with your spirit. You build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. And as you do this, you keep yourself strong in the love of God. Your God will keep you from falling and present you faultless and blameless before His presence with exceeding great joy. Your help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip, and He who keeps you will not slumber. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your strength on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord protects you from all evil. He keeps your soul, and He guards your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. You are blessed because your strength is in the Lord. In your heart are the highways of Zion. When you pass through the valley of weeping, the Lord makes it a spring for you. You go from strength to strength in the Lord. The Lord God is a sun and a shield to you. He gives you grace and glory, and no good thing does He withhold from you. You are blessed because you trust in Him. Your Heavenly Father grants unto you, according to the riches of His glory, the ability to be strengthened with power through His Spirit in your inner man, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. You do not lose heart in well-doing, for in due time you reap because you faint not. Your eye is single, and therefore your whole body is full of light. You are steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. God is your strong fortress, and He sets you in His way. By Him you can run through a troop, and by your God you can leap over a wall. He makes your feet like hinds feet, and sets you on your high places. He trains your hands for battle, so that your arms can bend a bow of bronze. He has given you the shield of His salvation, and His help and strength make you great. You will pursue your enemies and destroy them because the Lord has girded you with strength for the battle. The Lord gives you strength when you are weary, and when you lack might, He increases power. When you wait on the Lord, you renew your strength. You mount up with wings like eagles. You run and do not get tired. You walk and you do not faint. You are strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Empowered to go. You receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you are the Lord's witness, even unto the uttermost parts of the earth. In Jesus' name, you go into all the world to preach the gospel to every creature, and these signs follow you as you go because you believe. In the name of Jesus, you will cast out devils. You will speak with new tongues. You will take up serpents. And if you drink any deadly poison, it shall not harm you. You will lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. You will go forth and tell about Jesus everywhere. And the Lord will confirm the word that you speak with signs that follow. And when you go, you go in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. The works that Jesus did, you will do also in his name. And even greater works will you do, because he has gone to the Father. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Jesus has given you power over all the power of the enemy. 
He's given you power over unclean spirits to cast them out and has enabled you to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. As you go, you will preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You will heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. You will cast out devils because freely you have received, so you will freely give. All power in heaven and earth has been given to Jesus Christ. You will therefore go in his name and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You will teach them to observe all things that Jesus has taught you. Jesus is with you even unto the end of the world. Like Jesus, you have been anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. You go about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil, for God is with you. He has anointed you to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent you to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free all who are downtrodden, and to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. You arise and shine because your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the peoples. But the Lord has risen upon you and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will come to your light in Christ and kings to the brightness of your rising. Now, unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that works within you. Be glory and honor forever and ever unto Him. Amen. Health and Healing The Lord brings you to health and healing. He heals you and lets you enjoy abundant peace and security. The Son of Righteousness arises for you with healing in His wings. Jesus bore your sins in His body on the cross so that you might die to sin and live to righteousness. By His stripes you are healed. And as your days are, so shall your strength be. Jesus sent forth his word and healed you. He rescued you from the grave. When you cry out, the Lord hears you. He delivers you from all your troubles. The Lord is close to you when you are brokenhearted and saves you when you are crushed in spirit. At times, you may face many troubles but the Lord delivers you from them all. He protects all your bones. Not one of them will be broken. You are like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. You trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. You live and move and have your being in Him. The Lord will deliver you in a time of trouble. The Lord will protect you and keep you alive, and you shall be blessed upon the earth. He will not give you over to the desire of your enemies. The Lord will sustain you while you stand against sickness and disease, and He will restore you to health. Because you dwell in the shelter of the Most High and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, you will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He covers you with His feathers, and under His wings you find refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You do not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. 
A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but they will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is your refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because you love the Lord, he will rescue you and protect you from accident, harm, sickness, and disease. He is with you in trouble and delivers you. With long life, He satisfies you and shows you the fullness of His salvation. Family and Children As for you and your family, you will serve the Lord. Because you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved and your entire house. Because you are a covenant child of God, your household is blessed. Your family has been blessed with every spiritual blessing in Christ. In fact, blessings come upon you and your household, and they overtake you. Your family, home, Marriage and children are blessed and all that you put your hands to do. You are blessed coming in and you are blessed going out. The Lord has established your household as a people for himself. He causes you to abound in prosperity, in the offspring of your body and in the offspring of your beast and in the produce of your ground. The Lord surrounds your family and entire household with favor as a shield. No good thing does He withhold from you. His banner is love over your home, your marriage, and your family. No weapon formed against you as a family will prosper. What the Lord has blessed, no man can curse. You all abide in the shadow of the Almighty, and no evil befalls you. Your children shall be mighty on the earth, for the generation of the upright are blessed. They shall be as signs and wonders in the earth. Your children will flourish as olive plants around your table. They are a gift from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is your reward. Your children are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Your sons are as grown-up plants in their youth, and your daughters as corner pillars, fashioned as for a palace. The Lord's covenant with you declares that His Spirit, which is upon you, and His Word, which He has put in your mouth, shall not depart from you, or from your children, or from your children's children. All your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be their peace and their prosperity. In righteousness they will be established, and they will be far from all oppression. They will not be led into temptation, but they will know deliverance from evil. Your children are pure in heart, and therefore they shall see God. They hunger and thirst after righteousness, and therefore they are filled. The Spirit of the Lord is poured out upon your children, and they prophesy. They will spring up among the grass like poplars by streams of water. One will say, I am the Lord's, and another will call upon the name of Jacob, and another will write upon their hand, Belonging to the Lord. Your children are seekers of wisdom and understanding. They hold fast to the Lord's word and to his ways. They treasure his commandments and they cry for discernment. The spirit of wisdom is poured out upon your children and words of wisdom are made known to them. 
The Lord keeps your family from falling and presents you all before the presence of the Father's glory, blameless and with exceeding joy. Thank you, Father, for sending Jesus, your Son, the Eternal Word. Your love for us is unfailing, and your Word is is forever true. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine on you. you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all of your sacrifices. May he give you the desires of your heart and make all of your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant you all your requests. May the Lord